The House of Squibb presents Academy Award. Every week, Squibb brings you Hollywood's finest. The great picture plays, the great actors and actresses, techniques and skills chosen from the honor roll of those who have won or been nominated for the famous Golden Oscar of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. And now, E.R. Squibb and Sons, manufacturing chemists to the medical profession since 1858, bring you a delightful comedy drama one Sunday afternoon. And as our star tonight, you will hear the distinguished actor Jimmy Stewart, who has twice been nominated as Best Actor of the Year, and in 1940, he won the Academy Award. This is a story of a small town, and small town people, and of a small love affair, if any love affair can be small. And well, it all ends up all right. Makes you wonder if it was so small after all, the things that happened one Sunday afternoon. In a good old summer, You know, every bottle of beer makes that song sound better. Beth? <laughs> yes, dear? Do you want me to come out there? Uh, you, you don't want to see my wife, do you, Snobby? Uh. No, it's all right, honey. You just stay in there. It's all right. Making all that racket? If I hear any more, I'll come out there and put you both out of the house. All right, now get out of that dentist chair, Snappy. Who's the dentist around here, you or me? Okay, Biff, you're the doctor. But it's comfortable. I got a good notion to pull all your teeth out. No, no, I'll get out. Good old Snappy. Uh, gee whiz, you, you remember when we were kids together? Do you remember Avery's Park way back yeah, there? Yeah, it was you and me and Beansy Miller and Hugo Barnstead. Oh, yeah, yeah, that guy, Hugo Barnstead. Yeah. And Virginia Brush? You were stuck on her. Oh, no, I wasn't. No, I yes, wasn't stuck you on was, her. Biff. You was in love with her. And you used to sing in a good old summer time. Oh, well, sure, I used to sing that song, but Virginia liked it. Ah, song. she was a swell girl. Hugo stole her away, and she was yours. Yeah, Hugo was just a plain, everyday skunk. I, I never liked him. I bet I could have married Virginia if it hadn't been for him. He stole her. That's an awful thing for a skunk to steal another man's girl, you know. Oh? Huh? What? Oh, it's you, Dick over at the Majestic. Yeah, sure, Biff Grimes is here. I'll put him on. It's for you, Biff. It's Dick over at the Majestic Hotel. Oh? Huh? Uh-uh. It's Sunday. Never work on Sunday. Besides, Amy and I are going out for a walk. Huh? Well, I don't care if he's important. Biff Grimes is important, too. All right, so he's a bank president. Who... What? Hey. What'd you say his name was? Oh... Oh, Hugo Barnstead, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, send him right over. In the good old summer. You gonna pull summer. Hugo's tooth? Yeah, I think I'll Guess I'll be getting home. Yeah, stay where you are here. Come here, come here. I'll do it. I'll get even. He stole Virginia from me, and that's not all. All right, come on, Hugo Barnstead, bank president, and get your tooth pulled. In the good old summertime, in the good old summertime. Uh, where's the dentist? Why, Biff Grimes. So you did become a dentist, huh? Been a long time, Hugo. Yeah. Must be 25 years. Yeah. Let's see, the last time I saw you was when we had that uh, little trouble at the factory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, look, I got an awful toothache. I, I want gas, too, huh? Hey, look, right up here, see? Oh, uh, hurts like the deuce. I wanted to wait until I got over to Oakley, but Virginia, she's with me. And she said all I... All right, sh- all right. Which one is it? Oh, uh, it's this one. You see it? Oh, you see yeah. it up there? Oh, uh, <laughs> My, uh, my assistant, Miss Robinson's off today. Snappy Downer will take her place. No, no, wait a minute. Come over here. Oh, Biff. Oh, you remember Snappy Downer. Uh-huh. Now, I just want you to inhale yeah. deep. Okay. Just, uh-huh. just deep as you can. Uh-huh. Inhale. Uh-huh. Let's fill your lungs up. Are you getting any gas? Uh-huh. That's fine. Just uh-huh. Inhale. I, I remember it all. <clears throat> just like it was yesterday. Yesterday. You thought you were going to marry Virginia, but I fooled you. I fooled you. You go Barnstead. Well, I've got you right where I want you, you little crawling rat. Go on and breathe. Breathe. That's it. I remember Hugo Barnstead and Snyder's Gardens. Yesterday, sure, it was yesterday. Avery's Park. And Amy in Virginia. We used to go over there. Yeah, I remember. Seems like yesterday. Only yesterday. Hello, girl. Hello. Yeah, you brought your girlfriend along, huh? Yes. Well, I brought my boyfriend, too. How do you like him? He's all right. That is, I I guess he's all right. Well, introduce me. Oh, (laughs) I'd like to introduce my boyfriend. Sure. This is Biff Grimes. Biff, this is, uh, uh, Virginia. Hi. How do you do? How did you know my name was Virginia? That's for you to find out, little girl. That's for you to find out. We men never tell anything we know. I guess we could tell a lot of things we wanted to, eh, Hugo? You betcha. You betcha, yes, sirree. Yeah. <laughs> What's your girlfriend's name? Oh, I forgot. I, uh, this is Miss Lind, Amy Lind. This is Mr., uh... <laughs> what did you say your last name was? A uh, Barnstead. My name's Grimes, Biff Grimes. Say, uh... Say, I used to know you, didn't I? That's right. Oh, let me think where it was. John Marshall School. John Marshall? Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Yeah. You were a funny-looking little thing then, weren't you? <laughs> I always liked you, Biff. Amy. I guess I shouldn't have said that. Well, you could have waited. I'm sorry, Biff. Oh, that's all right. I guess all the girls sort of stuck on me in those days. Well, I guess uh, I guess an ice cream soda wouldn't be bad, eh? Uh, would you like an ice cream soda, Amy? I like a college ice. Oh, that's swell. Say, Goldstein's got something new. He, I tried it last night. You know, you'll rave about it. They, uh, he says New York's going wild over it. Yes. Yes, sirree. What is it, Biff? Well, he spreads nuts all over the ice cream. Mm. And uh, we won't sit up at the counter either. Goldstein got chairs in back. He did it at my suggestion. You know, it gives the place sort of a sporty atmosphere. And just like New York. Well, come on. Come on. Let's go. Say, uh, I've had my eyes on you, Virginia. You can take the little girl, Hugo. Oh, sure, Biff. Come on, Virginia. You're littler than Amy. <laughs> oh, Mr. Barnstead. Hey. Hey, wait a minute here. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Well, that guy has a nerve. I don't mind if you take me, Mr. Grimes. Huh? Oh, 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 sure. Well, well, come on, come on. Hey, Virginia, I'm sorry I got into that fight. Here we are at Snyder's Garden. You're sore already. Hugo Barnstead wouldn't act like you. He's a perfect gentleman. But that fellow insulted you. I despise fisticuffs. Oh, Virginia, won't you give me a chance? Honest, I'm crazy about you. I can't sleep night or day thinking about you, and my brain's going around and around, and I get dizzy. I'm not in the least interested. Oh, there they are. Yoo-hoo! Virginia, Miss Grimes! Oh, yoo-hoo. Uh, here they come, always finding us. Hello. We were overlooking at the goldfish pond. Boy, I'll bet you there's a million fish in there. And they're real, too, honest. They're swimming all over. Oh, that's that's wonderful. Hey, Biff, there's that fellow you had a fight with. Biff, don't 
don't you start anything again. I'm not starting anything. I'm warning you, Biff Grimes. I can keep my mouth shut and my hands to myself. Oh, don't worry, Virginia. Biff knows how to handle them. Hey, that's some cutie you got there. You'd think she'd go out with somebody decent. We're going. Come on, Biff. Come on, Amy. You know, I could like that cutie myself. And I'd do more than just hold a little hand if she was out with me. Come on, now. I don't want to get in any fights. Biff. What was that last remark? Huh? That last remark? What about a wise guy? What are you going to do? Stand up. What for? I want to see how hard I can knock you down. Biff, you promised. I don't care. I wouldn't let a remark like that go by. No, <laughs> his cutie tells him what to do. All right, get up. Biff Grimes, look out. He's got a knife. I'll shove it down his throat. Biff Grimes, I never want to see you again. I hate you. You're a bully. A big bully. I'll see you over at Avery's Park Wednesday evening, 8 sharp. Oh, you go. Take me home. Hello, Biff. Oh. Oh, hello, Amy. It's nice in Avery's Park at night, isn't it? Uh Uh-huh. Haven't you seen Virginia? No, no. Not since the picnic. Haven't you called her or anything? No, no. You were going to meet her here? Yeah, yeah, 8 o'clock. Oh, it's after 9 now. Yeah, yeah. That's too bad. Don't I know it? If I ask you something, will you tell me? What? Do you love Virginia? Well, You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Well, yes. Yes, I love her. I guess maybe I got a little too crazy about her. I'd sort of an ingrown pain. It starts in the pit of your stomach and works up to your neck and then it... Quarter past nine. I guess Virginia isn't coming. Yeah. Yep. Looks that way. Well, sure is nice out here, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, sure is swell. After a while, the moon will be up. Last night it was up early. Oh, there it is now. Oh, yeah, yeah. There it is. Beautiful. This time of night, things seem still and quiet. Soon fall will be here. Trees will get bare. Then winter. I don't like winter. No? No. I get awfully lonesome when winter comes. Well, you get lonesome, Amy. Yes. I know. I get lonesome, too. Do you, Biff? Yeah. Well, this is Amy and Biff. Hi, Amy. Hello, Biff. Oh, Snappy. What are you doing over here? Oh, just taking a walk. Guess you heard the news. What news? Ain't you heard? Well, it depends on what news you've heard. Well, didn't you hear about Virginia? Well, right. She got no. married this afternoon at 4 o'clock. Married Hugo Barnstead. And he's going to work for his uncle over in Toledo. Got a swell job. He and the happy bride are leaving on the midnight. We're going to throw rice and everything. I hear they got a lower sleeper. No. That's good. Wow. What do you know about that? Well, I uh, guess I'll be running along. Uh, all right, Snappy. Gee, Biff, I'm sorry. It hurts, huh? Oh, no, no. No, it's... I don't know, it's just I hope when Hugo climbs into that sleeper, he breaks his leg. That's oh. Biff, that is nice. All right, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't... You're the first person who ever made me take something back, too. You're the first. Well, say, Amy. Yes, Biff? Well, there's... There's no sense in two people being lonely in the winter, is there? No, Biff. Well, well, then, then how about me being your steady? Do you want to? Yes, yes, I I do. All right, Biff. All right. Well, gee, it looks looks like there are a million stars out tonight, don't it? Well, well, all right, let's go. I, I'll walk as far as the gate with you, and then... Yes, dear. 
And, uh, and then, Amy, I, I think I'm going to kiss you. In these last days of summer, every bay goes. For what is more exhilarating than the feel of a clean, spanking breeze and the sting of icy spray as it fans back from a plunging bow? That's real refreshment. Pleasing to the senses like the brisk, clean action of Squib Dental Cream. For the very instant Squib Dental Cream touches your teeth and gums, its mint-frosted smoothness makes your mouth tingle and leaves it feeling pleasantly exhilarated. And you may look for a refreshing difference in your smile, too. For the velvety polishing agent in Squib Dental Cream uncovers natural sparkles safely without harming the most delicate tooth enamel, no matter how vigorously you brush. So, for a brighter smile and a mouth refreshed, use Squib Dental Cream, one of the great family of Squib products. Taste, feel, and see the refreshing difference. And now the House of Squib presents part two of Academy Awards, starring Jimmy Stewart in One Sunday Afternoon. Next Tuesday is our anniversary, you know? Yeah, gosh, Amy. Funny wedding, wasn't it? Justice of the peace. <laughs> <laughs> Old man Hawkeye. Yeah. We didn't have any witnesses, so he called in those two men from the livery stable. <laughs> <laughs> well, never mind, honey. Wait till I get my debts cleaned up, and then we'll have a swell wedding. We'll get married all over again. I know we will. Why not put your books away for the night and take a walk? You've been at the factory all day. Oh, say, did I tell you they're switching Hugo Barnstead from the Toledo branch over here beginning tomorrow morning? Yes, I know. Virginia told me this afternoon. Did you? Well, where did you meet Virginia? On Main Street. She said they might stop over and see us tonight. Well, I, I don't want to see him. I... I... How did Virginia look? Swell. And such clothes. They must have struck it rich. Yeah. You don't mind if they come, dear. Oh, me? Well, no. Why should I? Hey, it look, looks like them now. Look, out there. Isn't oh, that them? Oh, my. I haven't got the dishes put away. You talk to them for a minute. Well, come here, Amy. Amy. I, I don't want to see them long. All right, Biff. I'll open the door. My. Nice little place you have here, Amy. Well, it's comfortable anyway. You're both looking awfully well. Thanks. Don't you think so, Biff? Yeah. yeah. What a lovely dress. Oh, yes. I got it in Toledo. The store said it was imported from Paris. Really? Yes, it would have been cheaper to move there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um... Lovely. <laughs> Don't you think so, Biff? Yes, uh, yes. I'm buying one for Amy for her birthday. <laughs> oh, say, Biff... You know, my uncle isn't satisfied with the way things are going at the factory. We're not making enough money. Oh, no? No, he expects me to double the output and cut down the expenses. You see, you may be able to give up that silly dentist idea and become a businessman. Well, let's get down to the point. What do you want? Well, they tell me there are too many men laying off sick. I'm going to clean out that place. Too much dead wood. Eh, we're not running an old man's home. Too many old timers, huh? Well, I found the men good workers. Well, you see, Biff, you mingle with the men. You can keep your eyes open and uh, see what's going on. No, I do my own work. I don't notice the others. But you can begin to notice them? I don't understand. Well, for instance, the department where you are. Now, some are on the job, but I suppose others aren't. Well, I want you to report to me, you see? Now, who would you suggest I get rid of? In other words, you want me to be a spy. Oh. You see, Virginia? That's what I get for trying to help him out. I didn't ask you for help. You came over here tonight to make a sneak out of me. You can get out. Oh, now he's insulting me without any reason. I came here ready to... No, no, Hugo, you don't understand. Oh, stop it, Hugo. I think you've made a fool of yourself. I have not made a fool of myself. I think Biff Grimes is too stubborn for his own good. What's the sense of talking to a man without any brains? I'm going. Come on, Virginia. It's all right. I can handle him. Good night, Amy. Home 
home at this hour. Well, I guess I... I guess I got a little surprise for you, Amy. I, down at the factory, you know what happened the other night? Hugo? Yes, Hugo. That little rat. His uncle called me into his office and asked me to give him that information Hugo wanted. Well, we had a few words and I quit. Biff, tell me the truth. Did you have words with Hugo, too? Well, sure I did. Did you strike him? Well, I... Tell me the truth. Well, I didn't exactly strike him, but I gave him a little shove. <laughs> oh, Biff, don't you see how we're fixed? If he went back and explained... No, it's too late. I, I kind of lost my head, Amy. I, something went wrong with the machinery. I guess it was my fault, and Hugo fired me. Wouldn't even give me my pay. I told him he had to give me my pay. Oh, Biff. But he's got to give me my pay, and I'm going to... Shh, Biff, my mother's here visiting today. We can't tell her, not just yet. She'll be wondering why you're home. I'll fix it somehow. You wait here. Good evening, officer. Hello, Biff. These belong to you, don't they? You better come along quietly, Biff, and don't make any trouble. Hugo Bonstead wants you pinched. He swears you took a punch at him and came back and tried to rob the place. You had this gun. Oh, for heaven's sake, be quiet. My wife's in there. I just pulled it as a bluff. He wouldn't pay me my wages. I worked for them. I worked hard. I couldn't lick the whole police force. You fellas know me. You've known me for years. I wouldn't steal anything for anybody. I, I was desperate, I tell you. I only wondered what was coming to me. Sorry, Biff. We can't do nothing. We gotta take you. Hugo has the whole factory to swear on his side. Biff? Oh, well, 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 I, I know that's awful nice of you, Matt, to come up here. I appreciate it. I'm only too glad to accept your offer. Or, oh, uh... Oh, hello, Amy. What's the matter? Matter? No, there's nothing the matter. The cops are giving a clam bag down at the casino on Thursday, and I, they asked me to join the committee, so we're just going to go down there and arrange things. Wait for me! Wait for me! I dropped off at the junction. I I could have made the 545, but I didn't want anybody at the station to see me. I know. Something told me you'd be out here at this old park. And it's nice over here tonight. Spring. Yeah. Spring. It smells good in the earth and the trees. Everything seems to be waking up and new life coming in. Well, I, I got out at 12 o'clock, and the warden shook hands with me. He was a nice guy. Are you glad to see me, Amy? You know I am, Bill. Oh, gee, it feels good to see you. It feels good to be back. I, two years, it just seems like ten. Well, that... That gramophone over there, what's it playing, Amy? Something new? Yes. Let the rest of the world go by. Well, I guess we'll just have to do that, Amy. All right, Bill. Okay with you? Wherever you go, Bill, I'll go. Oh, look up at that old sky. Must be a million stars out. And the moon's up full. Yes. And it's spring. Let's walk home, Amy. Seems just like yesterday. Avery Park and Amy. Uh, Biff, are you going to pull that tooth? Yes. I'm going home. Stay right where you are. Uh, I can't stand to watch. Well, if it isn't my old time sweetheart himself. Hello, Virginia. How are you? Well, you've kept your looks. 
save your poor goofy Jake's uh, tooth yet? Do me a favor and put him out of his misery. Uh, Hugo. Mm, Hugo. Ah, let uh, him alone. He's half dead anyway. Uh, yes? Hugo. You all right? Mm. Look at him. Here. Here, take some water. Is, is it out, huh? Can you, can you see it? My, my dentist in Pittsburgh told me. Remember the time I had those seven teeth? Listen, you. I... For 25 years, I've heard nothing but teeth, teeth, teeth. Oh, Virgie. Oh, don't Virgie me. If I hear any more squawks out of you, I'll perform an operation myself and you won't get gas. Oh. How how much do I owe you, Biff? For me? Me? Hmm. Oh, nothing. No, nothing. Nothing at all. Oh? Well, as you wish. Biff. By the way, how's your wife? Well, she's very well. Still married? Don't you work at it? Oh, no, Mrs. Grimes is still Mrs. Grimes. Well, goodness knows what I've suffered. Married to this death house buzzard. Oh, now, Virgie, I want to go home. I don't feel good. Well, come on, then. See you some other time, Biff. Yeah. Sorry we can't stay and see your wife. Well, she'll be sorry, too. Good afternoon. What was all that commotion in here? Where's Snappy? Oh, he's gone. Well, ready to take a walk? Get your hat. Sunday afternoon, everybody out. Amy. What's the matter, Bill? Oh, Amy. Oh, do you know you're very sweet and very beautiful? I love you, Amy. I love you, too, Bill. And tomorrow you're going to get the finest car in Hillsdale. Our old car is getting pretty terrible looking. Well, I wouldn't let you be seen in it. You know, there's a brand new taxi standing over there near the hotel. Hey! Hey, taxi! Hey, listen, drive up to the front door there and wait there. That's right. Just around the corner there. Yeah, that's right. You see, uh, Biff Grimes and his best girl are... Well, we're going for a ride. If you've been watching the news from Europe and Asia, you've probably read reports of progress in the war on starvation. You've probably read about some of the effective new weapons with which science has armed doctors who are fighting that war. Among those weapons are the amino acids, protein derivatives which help to restore health-building proteins quickly, where men, women, and children have been robbed of them through starvation. Only through constant research were such new aids developed. Only through continuing research can their further refinement and wider use be achieved. That is why at the House of Squibb, Scientists are probing further into the possibilities in protein derivatives, working with the tireless thoroughness which has established Squibb leadership in medical research. Not only life-saving drugs, but all the simple health necessities Squibb makes for your home use represent the fruits of such research. To make sure you get Squibb quality when you buy, ask for Squibb, a name you can trust. <laughs> Next Wednesday, another great picture. The House of Squibb will present Academy Award with a real treat for the entire family. A special treat for the children. Walt Disney's Pinocchio. Jimmy Stewart is soon to be seen in the Liberty Films' Frank Capra production, It's a Wonderful Life. This is Hugh Brundage bidding you good night until next Wednesday at the same time when you're invited to listen again to Academy Award presented by the House of Squibb, a name you can trust. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.